Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stone Block 3. I do apologize after the wait in between episodes. I have been ill, but we're back, and I'm excited. Now, before we get to the objective of today's episode, there are a few things that I want to show you. One, we have 221 neutronium ingots waiting for us. We're going to be using those today because we are getting into singularity automation. But I have set up something else as well. As you can see up here in the top left hand corner, we have EMC and it is it is displaying some numbers here. And that is because in between episodes, I made these two pink power flower Mark Fives, which basically just produce EMC every second. So these produce 16,020 EMC a second. Now, is it the most powerful? No. The most powerful generate uh, 19, what is that, billion, trillion <laughs> EMC a second, but it is extremely expensive to make. And also, the reason why I only have two of these is because to make one, either you need to do this or you need to pay 78 million EMC, which, uh, as you can tell, I only have 4 million at the moment. So yeah, it, 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 it's a... It, it's, it's a it's it's a work in progress. I also made something else though. A brand new section to the base, primarily for a singularity automation. And I think this room might be my favorite room in our base, especially the floor. Like it, it's not the prettiest job, but I really like this. I also set up some dry rubber automation using these block places, which as soon as this breaks, uh, at, at least I think it should. Uh, it places in the next block in its place, which is pretty cool. But enough of that, we need to get going because these singularities right here are the ones that I believe that we are able to make today, hopefully anyway. Um, all of these things, most of these things, I should say, most of these singularities that I have right here, they only cost EMC, which makes this process a whole lot easier. However, there is one thing that I do want to make before we get to that, and that is the EMC table, this thing, the transmutation table, I should say, I should call it the right thing. This thing right here, it's going to cost a few things. Uh, it's expensive. However, it is definitely going to be most worth it because this thing is cool. I don't need to make a few things though. I need to get some nitro crystals and I need to make an anti-matter anti relay Mark II and energy collector Mark II as well. I also set this up. And uh, each drawer now has four netherite upgrades, which multiplies the block storage by 32, so multiplies the block storage by 128. Yeah, Project E is um, very powerful. Now to make this nitro crystal, we are going to be needing two blocks of redstone, a single nether star, okay, <laughs> a single nether star, and also we are going to be needing a block of blazing crystal, which we can make just like so. And we should get 16 from this operation. However, am I able to upgrade these? These are hardened energizing rods. Blazing might be better because that time is times for the amount of energy that it can actually output. You know what? I, I'm not going to worry about that right. I'm not going to worry about that right now because that is gonna take a lot of time. But there we go. Yeah, it needs to store up 20 million FE. This is gonna take a little bit. I'll be right back. Still waiting. While you're waiting for this thing, well, while we're both waiting for this thing to fill, if you are enjoying the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new as well. Getting to 10,000 subscribers would be energizing. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna keep waiting while you do that important task. Almost there, come on, that, that, yeah, that, almost, there we go, perfect. That should give us 16 nitro crystals. And, yep, perfect. Now I just need to go ahead and make a few other things, such as the Mark 1 energy collector, and I need some dark matter for this one. Yep, perfect. And finally, the relay Mark 2. Boom. Now I do actually need a couple of these, so just to make sure that I don't run out of them ever again, we we'll just go ahead and do this. That should be pretty good. And I think with that, we have enough to make 
the transmutation to... Nope, I'm missing something. Neutronium nuggets. 12 of them, I'm pretty sure. Nope. Also need four alchemical chests and one of a normal energy uh, energy condenser. There we go. Move items and boom. Transmutation table has been crafted. Now this thing is really awesome. I'm going to place it over here on the wall. Probably need a more special place for it, but that's fine. So in here... As you can see, first of all, the EMC value that we have uh, on our person currently, that's up here, is also in here. Now, with this thing, we can do multiple things. We can learn items, just like so, and learned items, we can then use the EMC that we have here to make those items or pull those items out using the EMC. Or, I can burn them and get the EMC from it. So, if I hold down shift, I can put this in. I learn it, but I also transfer it into EMC, which is awesome. Now, as you just saw, I just put in items that was EMCable into this thing. If I just do it again, boom, perfect. Also, I learned something. I am wondering what would happen if I were to place this here, because all these items are EMCable. They all have emeralds. Uh, put onto them if I connected all of the item pipes together and let it all into the transportation table so that all whenever these are full the items just get put into here I would get a ton of EMC however I am sure there is a very easy way of doing that I just don't know it yet you know what we can test it so if I just place this here or onto the side of that yeah, no, it does not connect to pipes. Okay, so it doesn't connect to pipes. How can I then get things into it? I know that I can use the personal EMC link to generate things. So I add the item that I want to generate here, and then I can get what I want to generate from this block using the EMC that we have there. If I, for example, add diamond to this, if I just click it, it's going to extract those diamonds out of the EMC, which is pretty cool and all, but that is not what I want. That is actually the opposite of what I want. However, I can add them all to get a refined EMC link. Uh, hmm. Right, if I do this. I think it gets turned into EMC. I'm pretty sure. So question, can I put this to this? Yes, I can. I can indeed. So th this could get crazy. If I break these, now they're all getting connected. I just disconnect those, put there, disconnect, disconnect. Nope, I do want to connect this actually. Output, output, upgrade, upgrade. It's not happening fast enough, I don't think. Because currently we are only getting aluminum. Hmm. This is interesting. What if I were to add... Okay, maybe not the neutron collectors. <laughs> maybe if I add this, for example. If I add that... Oh wow, it does happen fast enough. It does happen fast enough. Oh wow. Okay, this just got really cool. I know I, know I said we were going to get into Singularity Observation. This is part of it, okay? This is part of the process. Trust the process, okay guys? Come on now. All right, so all the items that was in here has been transferred. So it's slowing down now. But if I add everything, Okay, my question is, if I take something like this, which is currently at 717, and add it, will it get sacrificed to get EMC, or will it get added to this? Yep, 719, so only when there's overflow. Okay, that's literally perfect. I am going to do a thing. 
everything has been redone. Everything is now connected. So with how this now works is we now have, oh wow, a hundred million a second. What just happened? What's being, what's being made? I don't know. <laughs> it's going to fluctuate a lot. It will fluctuate a lot. Question is, oh yeah, and the things in here. Oh, it doesn't get learned. You know what? I don't care. I don't care. I'm here for the EMC. And that means as well that I can now take, if I take both of these and then I go ahead and learn this, right? I can now go ahead and take them out using the EMC, just like so. And I'm pretty sure I can go ahead and just, no, hold on. Oh no, flower, flower power. And if I go ahead and do this, ah, oh, I do need this stuff in order to make the next version. That's fine though. I can place these down and then I'll upgrade them eventually. Just gotta place them here. Then I won't forget. <laughs> Anyways, singularities. In order to start getting singularities, we need to get a neutronium compressor. This thing is cool because, well, it makes singularities and we want singularities. So in order to get this, we need to get a few things such as iron blocks, but for the iron blocks, I'm just gonna get one, pop it into the EMC table, bing, learned. I can even sacrifice the one. And now I can just, I could just <laughs> get however many I need. All right, hopper, needs hoppers. Learn, sacrifice, boom. Just like that, as the EMC number has barely been touched by it. Now, of course, there are things that we cannot EMC and use the transportation table for, which is things like this, neutronium ingots. However, we can go ahead and turn them into blocks. Don't actually know how many blocks we'll need. We'll start off with nine. And I think we have everything that we need. Yep, <laughs> to make nine. Nine neutronium compressors. Now these do not have an EMC value like the neutron collectors does, but this is still pretty cool. We have to make 10, right? We have to make 10 just to get the round number in. I think it's something we have to do. Boom. 10 neutronium compressors. And with the remaining items, because all the drawers are full and whatnot, I don't really need it. I can just sacrifice it, learn it and sacrifice it to get EMC out of it. Pretty cool, of course. Add the neutronium ingots back. That's not what I wanted to do. No. That's that's actually really a problem if I can. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Boom. <laughs> now we have the neutronium compressors, but we need to move a step further ahead because if we take things like the infused ender pearl Singularity. We need 2,000 infused ender pearls. Now, like I said at the beginning, all of these, or most of these anyway, can be EMC'd, which means all I need to do is make one infused ender pearl, and then, well, we're pretty much sorted. But before I do that, I am running out of emerald chickens. I have enough for three machines or three setups, which that's not quite enough for what I want to do. So we're gonna increase that. All I gotta do to do that is place this here, place some emerald chickens, get a dark matter pedestal, and then do I have an extra watch of flowing time? I do not. Hmm, that can very easily be fixed, however. Plop. Plop. Pling. All right, add that there, turn it on. And I just need to wait a little bit. But while we are waiting, we can go ahead and set up the first two machines. I just need to make sure that they always have seeds. All right, the first one I want to make is the infused ender pearl. For that, we need some dimensional shards, which we could just go ahead and make one. Add it to this, learned, boom, and boom. I have a stack. And now I can add that. I can remove this. I just need to get one. And again, I can go ahead and learn it. So I have it for the future, just in case. Nice. Now what I would like to do eventually, right, 
is to use those personal or EMC links, these right here, especially this one, to just set it and say, listen, I want this generated from the EMC and then boom, done. However, at this point in time, we are not generating quite enough EMC at a rate where I'm comfortable doing that because the infused setup pearl alone is 223,000 EMC. While we are generating way more than that, the more things that we have set up, yeah, the, the more EMC we will need to produce. So until I can do that comfortably, for now, we're going to set up things a little bit differently. Now, I haven't actually given much thought of how the corridors are actually going to look, but I think this should be all right. So if I just make a little bit of an area back here. All right, perfect. So first of all, we got the Neutronium Compressor. And I actually want to go ahead and place it in the middle like so. And hmm, actually, no, I don't. I think I'm going to place it here, at least for now, because then we're going to have a roost right there. You've seen this setup before. Item pipe. And again, that is set to pull. And advanced pipe upgrade. Uh, yes, this, this is fine. Energy condenser back two. Set it to this. And then we can go ahead and actually use a mechanism for the basic logistical transporter, like so. Set it to pull. And that is going to pull all of these. I'm just going to give it a head start here. Add it to this. And boom, constant source of infused ender pearls. And now what I can do, I can then set up Let's, let's maybe move it up a bit and then I think, I think maybe we use other drawers, I think. So I can place this there and eventually the singularity is going to go into here. However, we need to generate 2000 uh, infused ender pearl in order to get one infused ender pearl singularity. So this, it's going to take a little bit. And again, this is not going to be the final setup at all because I don't really like this. But I think for now, oh boy, I'll 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 deal with how it looks later. For now, I do want to set up the next one, and I could actually do it a lot more compressed if I just go ahead and remove this, remove this, and place this there, and then do that. I think I'm going to do that instead, just to save our space where we can. And I should note, the Neutronium Compressor, from what I have understood, it needs to accept uh, on the top. It, it can't accept from the side, it has to be on the top. Now that is uh, basically the Infused Ender Pearl Singularity complete. So we can go ahead and take a look at what's next. The Magenta Matter, we also got another star Singularity. We know this one. We could drag it from above, but we're just going to set it up again. Just going to set it up again. So all I need to do is go ahead, go up, go up again, grab one. And also, one thing that's going to be very nice is to get the Transmutation Tablet eventually. Eventually, it is very expensive, as you can, as you can probably tell. It's um, extremely, extremely expensive. Isn't that what I need for one of these? No, it's something else. Okay, good. <laughs> Alrighty. Another star added. Set this to pull. And I can go ahead and help this along. Boopity boop. And yep, that's that. That, that's as fast as it can get. 25% <laughs> done. It actually gives you the percentage right here. That's cool. All right, that is the, uh, where, where is it again? Another star singularity complete. Mob filter, this is gonna be an easy one. Mob filter, EMCable, again, really, really simple and easy to set up. If we just go ahead over here, so I just need some sort of fence gate. Uh, there we go, almost made a stack, but I don't need that many. <laughs> Milk bucket. Um, do I have a cow is the question. 
No, I do not. But I do have another way, though. <laughs> okay, I haven't seen this before. Apparently, we add a Wither Skull to Skull, or any Skull to Skull in here. And we have a little bit of patience. And boom, we, we have milk. <laughs> I just need to add three more. And, yep, yeah, that, 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 yeah. Doesn't get simpler than that. All right, one full bucket of milk. And as soon as that's done, I should be able to take it into my bucket. Yep. <laughs> a different way of getting a bucket of milk than what I'm used to, that's for sure. And before we use it, we add it to the learn connection, so we can just see him see it out. Awesome. Oh yeah, almost forgot. We need to make the mob filter. <laughs> There we go, just one will do. Rinse and repeat. Now this one is going to happen super, super fast because it's not expensive at all. Like this thing is 37. Like this is gonna finish super, super quick. In fact, this transporter pipe, way too slow. Way, way too slow. I need to upgrade it, actually. I might need to use the other the other pipes for this. I don't know if this is going to be fast enough. It's still not. Well, I can't... I don't think I can do it much faster. Anyway, because otherwise it would just, this would just get up to a stack. And I mean, this is filling up extremely fast. That's very, very cool to watch. That, ladies and gentlemen, is three singularities basically covered. And yes, don't worry, I will make this place look pretty err. Also, I love this diamond green force hammer. Like, boom, done. <laughs> it made making this room a lot easier, that's for sure. 58%, 32%, 17%. All right, I guess it's on to some of the more well, annoying to make, which is the magenta matter singularity. And it's only really annoying because it's a little bit expensive on the EMC side of things. But it is doable for sure. I guess I start adding machinery over here, right, too? Just so it's not on the same wall only. All right, magenta matter, 16 emerald chickens. And final touch, and a drawer, disconnect, and I sh those need to actually be set to pull. I forgot that away here. Ooh, this is exciting. Yep, this is going to be a much slower process. I wonder if it's possible to place a watch of flowing time to make this go super fast. That is something I have not tried. I'm a little bit scared to try it for some reason. But it has to be done for science. So what if I place this here and here? Um, I mean, the chickens will work a lot faster. This has an advanced upgrade, but it's actually reaching the limit. Wow. It's going as fast, but, but that, that confirms it, basically. You can... Watch a flowing time these. Okay, that's something I might set up in between episodes, because that would speed things up a lot. All right, magenta matter completed. Enderium block singular singularity. Oh, well, that's easy. Done. <laughs> we got our first singularity. It only needs 22 to make a singularity. I didn't even realize. Guys, we have our first singularity right here. I'm afraid of right-clicking this, but yep, there we go. That's our first singularity. And this thing, I mean, this is gonna be there too as well in just a moment. And here we go, the second singularity. There we go. Mob filter pad singularity. That is cool. Seeing them pop off in here as completed is seriously, seriously awesome. We're one step closer to endgame. We got seven of them. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. I love automation and I love Project E. All right, the next one could be a little bit tricky. 
It is going to be the Corrupted Ingot Singularity. And for that we need Corrupted Essence. Oh, okay, well that's not tricky whatsoever. Vile Dust. Oh, just literally Soul Sand and a Blast Furnace or some Soul Soil. Uh, blast Furnace, I think, is what I need to make. So just get a normal Furnace and then get a Blast Furnace. Place that there. Yep, that's all I need to do. Single piece of coal. Just wait. And boom. Now for the amazing thing, we can click it in there. Get a stack. <laughs> get a stack of corrupted essence. Make the corrupted ingot. Get away with that. Learn this. And boom. Done. Time to set it up. And for this one, we're going to be needing elite because it is just super, super fast. Yeah, this is going to be one that we get the singularity of it extremely quickly as well. <laughs> Set that to that. Get rid of that. Yep, that's going to be done in no time. Ooh, and this one is done as well. The infused ender pearl singularity. I do like to pick each and every one of them up just so we get it in here. So we can actually see how many we're actually missing. And all the things that I get that doesn't really, that I don't need to save, I can just add it here. It'll, it'll learn it and then it'll just move it to EMC. Or convert it, I should say. Next is the node overclocker. Which is just like that. Time to expand the hallway. I guess this is going to be the hallway of EMCable things that are just extremely easy to get because... Yeah, we, we can fit a lot of machines in here. And I'm now in need of ender drawers, so all I can do is just go in here, shift click, and I now have a stack. <laughs> wow. And it appears that this cable is not quite fast enough. So all we need to do, boop boop, and boop boop. Yeah, that's better. 23 singularities, wow. All right, just a couple more to go. One is the palette and brush. Uh, wait, how do we get this? Circuit, smooth stone, oh, well, that's how we do it. Okay, that makes sense. Let me just add this because I'm constantly needing stone. Let me smelt one, add it to this, <laughs> and just get more than I'll ever need. Palette and brush. Now we need the flux block, which, yep, this should be very easy to do as well. I want to try and add as many things to this as I possibly can, because it's just going to make life that much easier. Okay, obsidian dust. So I don't think I have any of that. In fact, I know I don't have any of that. So if I just get a pulverizer, like so, connect it to the power grid. Pulverize this, and then take the obsidian dust to this one. Oh, not enough energy to operate. How do you not have enough energy to operate? Oh well, doesn't matter. I have what I need, I think. Yep, it seems suitable. Perfect. So I can just go ahead, boop, take a stack. I can make the flux core. I can put that in there. And now I just it out. I think I needed four of each. Pretty sure. Five. Perfect. Add that to that. Do this. Summon this. Learn that. And set up the machines. And just like so, they have been added. This one is really annoying because it's generating them super fast, but it's being slowed by this because they're unstackable apparently, which really, really sucks. Um. Using an item pipe would probably be faster. I wanna try. I wanna try because I wanna see what happens if I do this and then give it an upgrade. Okay, it's a little bit faster actually, so I could probably just upgrade these to the next level after I get Atomic Alloy, which I couldn't be bothered with at this point in time. But yeah, for now this is fine. It'll be filled up in no time. 
And I believe that that is all of the singularities that are simply, well, ju just like this, like really, really easy and simple. Those have been completed. The rest is going to require, oh wow, I just asked for that. <laughs> I just needed that, wow, okay. Um, the rest is going to require some sort of automation, like for the source jam, for the train track, we need to set something up here. However, all of this is basically emc about the sync nuggets and whatnot, so we should be able to automate that using EMC as well. And then we got some of the other things like pig eye and singularity that will require some automation using the tickers construct maybe, things like that. We also have processing tier 2 which will need to make some automation for processing tier twos. Most of the stuff is EMC, but glass isn't, so we'll need to figure out how we can actually get glass and things like that. So I'm gonna need to do some planning with all these, and do please let me know down below in the comments if there's an easier way of setting some of this up when it comes to the EMC, other than using the chickens like this, if there's a much more powerful way. One thing that I will, hmm, one thing that I will do off camera, I think is try and get these upgraded as much as possible so we can generate more EMC because if we got up to having a power flower like that generates like really really crazy amount then I could just pull it using a personal EMC link and well that would then be that. But guys, that is going to do it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed it yet again. If you have any improvements or any suggestions at all for the setups here, please do not hesitate to let me know down below in the comments. I look to I look at all the, your feedback and I really do appreciate it. And yeah, once again, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new and enable those notifications so you don't miss the next one. And I hope to see you, well, yeah, in, in the next one. I, I've been ill. I it's I haven't recorded for like two weeks and I'm, I'm struggling. Also I really want this thing to finish. And boom. Perfect. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Anyways, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. Yeah,